My money not a long one, the anointing produce it. My faith now I'll get one, that's why miracles responding. I'm standing on top of my world, I know say you notice. I'm the trusting of the Lord, yeah. Testimonies plenty, hey, say you notice. You know, say not the anointing, say you notice. You know, say not the anointing. You know say I got the anointing But if you notice You gonna say not the anointing hey. People want to know Let them say not the anointing If them ask you how you blow Let them say not the anointing If they want to change the story yo. Let them say not the anointing Don't ever listen to them the noise Let them say not the anointing hey. Say you notice you know, say not the anointing. Say you noticed. You know, say not the anointing. Say you noticed. You know, say I got the anointing. But if you notice, you gonna say not the anointing. Everywhere I go, people want to notice you. Who be the chap guy with Nimsha anointing? Everywhere I enter, I said, then now I'm feeling the anointing. Even if you touch me, you go notice it's God's grace and anointing. No, you tell her them. Say hey, you notice. Hey, you know, say not the anointing. Say hey, you notice. Nah, nah, nah. You know, say not the anointing. Say hey, you notice. The anointing. You know, say I got the anointing. But if you notice, nah, nah, nah. you gonna say not the anointing.
Okay, I'm Reverend Munjimbo Ikima, College Pastor and Sports Master of uh, Baptist High School, Boya. I have the privilege to be part of the Project One Shoe for the second year. Uh, this year, I think I'm really involved with the logistics and to make sure that the competition runs well as a sport master of the school. We really appreciate the donor, the brain behind it, and the sponsors for giving us an opportunity. It has been years that the students have not been involved in sports due to the crisis, but we see the excitement in the students, and we think it's an opportunity given to us to bring out the talents uh, that these this, this children have. It's, it's actually really great. And uh, we, our desire and our prayer is that God will bless them, God will continue to provide. And that is, this, this, this idea, this initiative will not die. We pray that as the years will go by, they will keep increasing, and it will be something that normally is our dream that more schools will be involved. Last year we had three. It started with just BHS in that class, divided the school into teams. Last year we had three schools, this year we are having four. And it's great. The newcomer for their first time, a PCH has won their first match yesterday. They defeated BHS among us, two goals to one. After BHS, I defeated them every other team sport. So they were so excited. I know we're happy with them because they actually come with their own fan club. And the fury and the excitement, it is, it is there. We are so grateful. We thank you so much. I will pray that God will bless you. Yeah, this is the principal, Mr. John Mukake, and this is the office. You can see the transformation, but a lot needs to be done. So, he's having a meeting, so I just took a brief one. That's why I'm sending it to you now. Okay. Now, the volleyball too is about starting.
our protocol do respect it? Fellow students, staff, dear colleagues, fellow associations here present, I want to say good afternoon and welcome to this special edition of Project One Shoe. Special because we are in the third phase or the third edition of this important sport jamboree. And also special because we are bringing the fourth school into this competition, PCSS Boya, for the first time. We are pleased and happy to have you here in our midst, in this wonderful citadel of learning, serene and in perfect decorum, good enough for us to have sports with total fair play. I want to let you know that this is your home. I am pleased and I'm elated with the spirit of the fan club that has already started animating the place. But I want to let you know. She I want to let you know. I want to let you know that let the other schools not feel intimidated. Rather, we are encouraging you to move in here like a powerful army with your fan club and also animate this place for the next two weeks that we are going to have this project one should run through. We want to thank our international sponsor who have made this possible and we are all aware of the fact that one or two things actually hampered some of the equipment that would have actually arrived here by now because of the COVID-19. But that did not dampen their spirits to continue in the direction that they have to sponsor and to get out the budding talents in most of you who tomorrow might be the Samuel Eto and the Clinton of this nation. We pray and we do hope that whatsoever they have presented as <coughs> Prizes, you would appreciate it. The rest assure that those of you who are putting on the Project One Shoe t shirt they belong to you. Next year, they have promised that all the team sports will be equipped with jerseys, complete jerseys that will equally belong to you at the end of the tournament, besides the t shirt We also want to let you know that there's an innovation this year. The innovation is that no school teacher will take part as official. The sponsors have paid for neutral officials to actually refer the matches. We don't want to hear that Baptist High School teachers refer the match that concerns Baptist High School for that. No. And this is going to make us have a sense of neutrality, fair play, and, on, and a very, very unbiased way of judgment. You can see the field is already well mapped out and it is set for the rumble in the jungle. Once more, you are welcome and we pray that you have a nice time here for the next two weeks and we pray that the camaraderie that we have so much wished for amongst our school should begin here before moving out. I also want to assure you that next year we shall be adding in a fit team and that will come out of Boya and likely will be Seca Baptist College Limbe. So we're having a purely girls school that will join us. And in the other year, we shall have a sixth team which will mark the final phase of our recruitment of the teams that are going to take part in this competition. We are conscious of the fact that we want to make sure that this competition takes place mostly during the weekends so that our classes will not be highly perturbed. We want to plead and we want to appreciate the school administrators who have decided to let go their students during this time for this competition to become a reality. Once more, you are welcome. I will say thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you very much. Before we move on, I want to recognize the presence of the delegate of sports and physical education 
who is here in our presence, and when that time comes, he will be duly introduced, and he will see also the part that he will have to play. Competition of this activity, an official face in the fact that even the government officials are aware of the fact that we are promoting sports in diversity in its own way that you people will be able to find out the body talents that we have in us. So when that time comes, I want to let you know that an official is here from the government circle who is also aware of the fact that this competition is taking shape. Once more, you're welcome, sir. And we pray that when that time comes, we'll duly actually recognize you. Thank you very much. We cannot continue without recognizing the brain behind this tournament. So we will call on his representative to salute us. <laughs> Distinguished okay. guests, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, I've come here this day to represent the coordinator of this very wonderful initiative, Mr. Emmanuel Tabi, who resides in the USA. As you all know, this is the third edition. And uh, from the first right up to now, you have been seeing some improvement. We have moved gradually from one step to another. Every day, it has improved either by number of schools or by quality of the games. Uh, before I continue, I would like to thank the various school authorities for making the logistics available for us in order to ensure that this project is, uh, takes place successfully. I want to thank the Educational Authority of the Southwest region, most especially the Delegate of Sports and Physical Education, for having granted us the permission to hold this event. Uh, to the students, I want to say that this is just the beginning, and uh, there is more to come, as your principal ha uh, highlighted a uh, short while ago. Uh, we had some difficulties, health challenges, COVID-19 and other things that have cost us a lot, but we, we still have had, had to push forward to ensure that this event holds this year. Uh, you know, uh, sports is very important to, for health and for exercise. And uh, we think that in order that we should be able to keep our students to get healthy and to grow up as uh, our, our leaders of tomorrow, we must organize events like this. So uh, I want to urge you that it's a game where everybody comes out a winner. We expect uh, fair play and discipline. And uh, we are encouraging those other students from other schools who have come to participate to know that there is a level ground for everybody. So we expect that the games will go on well and at the end we will only give glory to God. Thanks so much for coming and thank you very much for being part of this program. Thank you. We will then call on those who are concerned to read. As you all know, this is the third edition. And uh, from the first right up to now, you have been seeing some improvement. We have moved gradually from one step to another. Every day, it has improved either by number of schools or by quality of the games. Uh, before I continue, I would like to thank the various school authorities for 
making the logistics available for us in order to ensure that this project is, uh, takes place successfully. I want to thank the Educational Authority of the Southwest region, most especially the Delegate of Sports and Physical Education, for having granted us the permission to hold this event. Uh, to the students, I want to say that this is just the beginning, and uh, there is more to come, as your principal uh, highlighted a uh, short while ago. Uh, we had some difficulties, health challenges, COVID-19 and other things that had cost us a lot, but we, we still have had, had to push forward to ensure that this event holds this year. Uh, you know, uh, sports is very important to, for health and for exercise and to grow up as uh, our, our leaders of tomorrow, we must organize events like this. So, uh, I want to urge you that it's a game where everybody comes out a winner. We expect uh, fair play and discipline. And uh, we are encouraging those other students from other schools who have come to participate to know that there is a level ground for everybody. So we expect that the game should go on well. That's how we do it in Baptiste. See the, the population cheering their BHS team seriously. Thank uh, the donor of the project. That's a good initiative to, to think about your community. Because if you go abroad, you are coming from somewhere, and that somewhere can only be reflected in you. Others go and remain. They don't think about where they come from. They feel that maybe they deliver, they deliver them maybe in the sky. You don't see any feedback, but you get the name, you get what they are doing. Our communities will only be transformed by us. We should be the brain behind our communities. Each time I go to bed, I think about what can I do for my people. 
Should I go without leaving a legacy behind? And this is a legacy you are planting behind. So that the generation unborn will come and see it. They will witness it. It's a testimony that you are making in the life of <coughs> young Cameroonians. That they will leave favor. I started my career somewhere. And where is that somewhere? Baptist High School. It is something very symbolic. You might, know, you might look at it that you are not creating an impact. If they analyze the impact of what you are creating today, you will not be able to carry it. So in my singular pleasure, I am extremely happy. I was here one time when they constructed the, the complex over there. I made some recommendations because I am an, that agent of development that I want to see things done properly. So if I see this initi initiative and I stay behind because of other commitments, I'm not doing good for myself. And I'm not being fair to the population and to these younger kids that are here. Because the future of our generation and the future of the unborn kids depends on them, not on us. Some of us are no longer, we are no longer going to put to bed again. So it's a button we are passing to them. That you know that good leadership must start from what? Discipline. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Am I, are you forgetting me over there? No. So what I am saying, for you to succeed in life, you must be disciplined, very organized, listening to your parents. Because they will never misdirect you. They will guide you to success. And copy from what you are able to see, the positive things. I know that there are negative things all, all over the media. But copy what? The positive ones. So I want to see, I want to hear a loud clap. Everybody, I want to see you clap for the organizer of this competition. Okay, it, it's not yet enough. I want to see. That one that they raise a clap. Organize one so that people should know that you appreciate what they are doing so that they'll be able to do more. So all of us will take your hands up. Five large clap. You, you give them five. Clap in order, please. We are students. We clap one, two, five times. Go. Good. That is discipline and what? Organization. So, on this note, I want to declare the game officially open. Thank you for your kind attention. Olympic Oath Athletes, in the name of all the competitors, I promise that we shall take part in these games, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them, committing ourselves to a sport without doping and without drugs. In the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the glory of sport and the honor of our team, in the name of all the officials, I promise that we shall refer all games respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them, committing ourselves to sport to a sport without partiality in the true spirit of sportsmanship for the glory and the honor of all the teams. We will now give the stage to our guest of honor, the delegate of sports and physical education. One of the pictures for today and tomorrow. First match, women's football. BC, BHS Boya against PCHS Boya. Men's football. BHS Boya against PCHS Boya. Women's handball. ICHS Boya against BCHS Boya. Men's handball. ICHS Boya against BCHS Boya. Women's volleyball. ICHS Boya against BCHS Boya. Men's volleyball. ICHS against BCHS. Women's basketball. BHS against BCHS.
Out of the ring. Out. Outside.
Watch your supporters. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm alone. That's part of your table, so we need to know. So now, if there are difficulties, you know that the difficulties are coming as a result of walking alone. Okay. We are learning. Is that right? We are learning. All of you stand here. Stand there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. This one. Oh. 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 Oh.
we have to think in the video so that Mark Jock Mark, 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 Mark come out to see what we have to do. You! Just hold it like this and take us a video. I'm already video people, right? Yes, focus on that. Official kickoff of the basketball. They know if they win them through this punishment, digging of storm.
You put scatter, take down the whole circle. Take back, take one, one. Oh, yes, blue. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes.
of all, appreciate every school that has made this competition a success. You know, when you cook your food and you invite people to a party, it's not a party until they come and eat. And now that you people have come and you've eaten until we are about cleaning the table, we say thank you very much. In as much as we are the sponsors, without you being present, it doesn't make it, it doesn't give it any meaning. Like the principal said, it's not a speech making occasion. I want to say we are here for a competition and all of us, we, 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 we crave to get the trophy. But again, I want us to understand that we still remain brothers. It's not a war. So we are calling for fair play. And we are in support of the two teams. Let the better of the two win the trophy. So I want to wish everyone well. And as we have it, God is present, we know there's going to be no injury. Have a wonderful time and stay blessed. In Jesus' name. Upside, upside. Oh! Upside then.
So what what can you really tell us about the match? How is the match going? Well, the match is going well. They are not really happy with the, the, the assistance fee and the, the, the central fee. So they what? Are doing, they are not doing their job. They are not seeing what is happening. The, 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 the errors are in, in the field. How can you blow a, 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 a set the goal which normally was in the upside? They finally refused the goal now. No, they did not. The first goal was not the goal. The first goal was not the goal. So I hope so that, you that, that, That's what I can say for now. That the match, at least the match is going smoothly. I, 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 I encourage my players to like, play calm and fair play. Okay. Monsieur le délégué, so far, what can you tell us about? Uh, well, they, say, they say in football you cannot determine the winner from the beginning. It's a 90 minute expecting the winner. And as such, we are praying that everybody should keep emotions behind. The first half. I wouldn't say much apart from what my the delegate has said. The match is so interesting. The good teams are actually working hard. And we pray that they, they continue with the same spirit. Without any arrogance, we are going to make it. Thank you. Those are those groups. Go and block. Go and block the midfield. Then it's finished. Captain. <laughs> yeah. What can you say about the first half of this encounter? What? What? How are you enjoying it? And what's your expectation? <laughs> The first half went so well, and we are expecting that the Unicef Corps will make the school power by doing it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Coach, what can you tell us about your impression? My impression is that I'm not happy with the officials. They are not good at all. And if they continue like that, this match will not end. I'll personally stop it. From the first day of play till now, we have been suffering the hands of the officials. And we cannot continue like that. It's not because we are quiet that it's taken for granted. What the boys have played well, but the officials are messing us up. Okay, I hope we get a better officiation. I pray so, so that the match will end peacefully. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, it's been a, um, a wonderful event. And um, as, as it comes to the drawings, um, both teams are doing a wonderful job. Currently, it's 1 1. And uh, we expect a repeat of last year's finals. The ages taking the, uh, the trophy. So um, I, wish them, I wish both teams um, all the best as they um, battle this, um, this finals. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Tiku. What's your impression about the first half? Yeah, so far the, the tournament has been a success and that can be confirmed. But the fireworks that is going on in this finals, you see the supporters of both teams are really eager to see that they finally get the crown. But the second 45 minutes is what is actually going to determine the outcome of the match. And uh, though we are part of the organizing committee, I want my alma mater to be raised. I want Baptiste. To keep it up and to take the trophy. This I can't hide. Thank you.
Good. Good. You want to see our query No, master, please. What is this? Hey, give Come down, go. Let's go. They already know how. Where are they?
Some people are not clapping. You see, my children are not winning. We have no one winning. Being part of this occasion to showcase that you are champions. So clap for yourself. Good. In sport, we usually say there is what we call the runners up. We don't say there is a champion, we call the runner up. There is the first, the second, the third. And even what? The fair play. And the most disciplined people. That those are the values that we merit we talk about in sport. So that is why I said there is no loser. All of us are champions. You always have some value in you. Don't feel that because you you, you we're not we not there, the champion will have been there. You must be from the beginning. The beginning of the race, you usually have many persons to start. And if it's not one person, then there is no race. So that race must be run by all of us, and at the end we crown one person as a champion. So just as I said, it is not like the principal said from the beginning, it is not an opening ceremony for us to make speeches. But I want to thank the sponsor for this good initiative that brings next year you people should rethink again. I am very open because there are other ideas that I could bring in. We have children that are not only participating in, in uh, collective sport. Why the game was taking place, there were children behind it doing gymnastics. Those are marvelous talents that we have. They are some that they can run 100 meters. They are some who are from Kumbango that had a gold medal. Because the gold medal, there is one thing people don't understand. One gold medal in triple jump is equivalent to one all the football medals that you want. It's the same. So if we have just one alley to 100 meters, then you go out of the country and get a gold medal, it's equivalent to a football team. And you, if you spend little money, and you have the glory. So we should not only think of inventing in collective sports, we should think of the individual talent. There are some children, they are all in school, they are some, that they are shy. They cannot face their colleagues squarely, that they, they should go on the field, but if you put them on the track, that they should run alone, you will see the marvelous performances that they will have. So it's a good initiative that you have started. As they say, don't ride the winning horse to death. So you put to rethink in that direction, so that next year we have a jamboree. That would be and you could have many disciplines, even the handicap sports, so that nobody should be seen left behind. Because the children are handicapped, they will feel that no, okay, they have been neglected in the society. Because the competition took into consideration gender. And we should thank the officials for all the time and all the insults. Just like I said, it's in sport, there are emotions, we should leave out emotions. All what happened on the field was on the field. If we had received some insult, it all together was on the field. Nobody intentionally wanted to insult you. So don't be angry with anybody. That is part of sport. We live here happily as we started. Like one, like one family without a enmity. Football only comes to unite with you. Men's 
Mando. I see a chess player.
Women's soccer. 2nd place, donated by Mr. Moka Samuel, 35,000 francs, BCHS Boya. Very well. <laughs> Tournament most valued player. Donated by Dr. Ambe and Becky Akonwa. 25,000 francs. Ngo Desmond. Oh, 
The most disciplined team donated by Dr. Akaya and Elizabeth Akaya. 35,000 francs PCSS lawyer. <laughs> Oh, it's not a How can the team have red card? They are giving the fair play. I have no attack. You have a Liba. No, no, Liba. 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 No, BCHS Boya. Men's soccer, runner of second place. Donated by Dr. Chaco and Man. 75,000 francs. BHS Boya. I am Mr. Ashir of ICHS. I'm happy with the tournament. Yeah, despite the fact that there are some things I don't have loved, but I will tell them, I will address them. I am happy and I wish that Pojawashi should continue and let the best win. I wish my opponent the best. We will see me again. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, as concerns the tournament, I can say that it was good. As it's getting to the, to the second edition, I will just hope that uh, the third edition, we are going to. I'm advising that they should take into consideration individual sports because there are so many talents hidden there that are still to be detected. We have people who can do 100 meters, they can do sprints, can do long tennis, uh, high jump, go-go, what do you want? So if we concentrate only on team sports, we might make some students hidden talents in Baptist High School in particular. Because I've taught sports here. There are so many talented students in the individual sports. As concerns the match of today, the final, it has been a wonderful game. Even though Baptiste lost two penalties, I know that that's the football, that's what football has. But I want to say that both teams deserve their fair play. And at the end of the game, the team that carried the day was ICH. So for next year, I'm pleading that. They should think about the 
officials. They should think about the officials because we are sacrificing. Sacrificing because I'm a physical education teacher down there at the Gino Baptist and because my colleague, Mr. Malobaye, holds that I should come. So I want to say that it is a commendable job that you are doing. So you people, I want to say kudos to you people and let this tournament come to stay. Let this tournament come to stay. Thank you. As head of the delegation of PCSS, the tournament started and it's ended. So what are your impressions and what can you really say about the tournament? Uh, the tournament comments, uh, if my memory does not fail me, that was on the 13th of February. And uh, as it was previewed to end on the 28th, here we are at the closing ceremony of the 28th. I think all went well. The fact that we have ended the tournament and with the award of prizes well ahead of time, might fall, they don't meet us as uh, is usually the case. Uh, now, before I go to the prones, I may want to give some cones so that uh, it will help us for subsequent editions to ameliorate. Now, uh, I wish that uh, the, some uh, local modalities should be laid down so that the various delegations are aware of the stakes. Yes, in terms of the rules and regulations of the various disciplines, there should be the rules and regulations. Hard copies should be given, yes, so that we all are aware, rather than getting into some squabbles and so on. Yeah, it was good in that direction. The officials, some officials were sentimental. Yeah, like in a game of football. I'm not talking because uh, I'm from PCSS, but uh, though PCSS was playing against BCHS at the female uh, final, uh, third place uh, game, the, 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 the qualifying game, the match delegate was visibly supporting the BCHS team, which I call the attention of the uh, linesman, the first assistant, to call him to order that he's doing something outrageous. Then some coaches, we are so emotional. We take the game as though it was ours. In, meanwhile, it's the, for the excitement of the children. Yes, because uh, we saw some of us encouraging and inciting violence yeah. amongst the students. The fan clubs should be there, but we should not be provocating. Yeah. So that is some of those are some of the the, 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 the the pitfalls of what I experienced here, right up to the point where I even took a stone, as you can see on my forehead, during the third place game yesterday, which is on gentlemanly play from the coach of BCHS Boya, who got one of the students of PCSS Boya well beaten which is uh, something very outrageous and should not be taken with a pinch of salt. Yeah, such uh, ungentlemanly behaviors uh, affects the credibility of the organizers of the tournament in general, which we are trying to uphold. So subsequently, we should call ourselves to order maybe on technical meetings, pre-meetings and uh, previous. Well, besides all of that, I think it was good. I think uh, it's a laudable initiative from uh, the Project One Shoe Mini uh, 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 project. Uh, it takes uh, it takes civility for people to think that they should give back to their community what they gave them. Yes, it may not be to its entirety, but the little you come, it's the it may be little, it may sound little, but it's very significant. And it's my fervent uh, plea that. You people should not relent your efforts. The committee, they should even do even better, like the divisional delegate for sports and physical education made mention a while ago, that we should even include other athletic disciplines so that the fanfare of the Olympics should uh, come to play. Together with the other schools that we were thinking of bringing in, the Sikabatis, the PGSS, the all of Limbe, and so on, so that we should even give the project the grandeur it deserves. So, without much ado, je dis félicitations à tous les organisateurs, à tous ceux qui ont cette initiative. Bon, que Dieu vous bénisse tous et à la prochaine édition. Merci. Yeah, good day, sir. Good day. Now, you've been the match delegate of these finals and you've been the one who has actually coordinated the, the, the match officials. Yes. Bringing them together from the referee to the linesman yes. and every other thing. So, what can you really tell us about the tournament? What are your what 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 is what what did you really enjoy about it? What are those things? You understand? Yes. 
I know you, you, you've been through the organization from start to finish, and even out of uh, uh, the field, you face a lot. Yes. Within the matches, you still face a lot. Uh, like I, I, I saw some attacks on you based on your linesman, who was not kind of fair. Yes, yes. yes based on what they are saying. So what, what can you actually say? Okay, I'm first of all called Therese Maluba. I am the, I'm the coordinator for technical issues of Project One. One shoe. I'm very humble to be there. You know, I've been in this school for two years and I, I've never been put in such a, a position. So this year I was called to bring the officials, just like that impromptu. And I struggled to bring those who could do their best in the various disciplines. So it was a little bit difficult, but I struggled to have 10. Even though we said the payout was not too not too good, but I try to talk to them to just go through because the whole world is facing difficulties. We all know that. Yeah, so um, with that dusted, we saw the games, all the children coming to play. It was very great. It's Puja One Show has made children to be happy again for a very long time. We have not played. The finance school has been cancelled. The university has been cancelled. Finance school AB cancelled. All regional games cancelled. Only Project One Show has made children to play this time in Southwest. So we are very grateful for all the sponsors, what they are doing. You know, we had some hitches here and there. But the officials who came, those are not the best. But those are the ones we could have who sacrifice their time to come. Because the others were asking for high pay. They know it's a project. So we are very sorry we, to see that officials were lacking. But next year, if we are given the right means, we are going to bring right officials, federal officials, who will make the games better because officials are the heart of all competition so um, normally we had some issues also with coaches coaches attacking officials inciting students to fight on officials so we are looking at rules and well laid down rules for next year before any person can come in for the competition so we just hope that the sponsors will look at all the reports that we are going to write because after this I'm taking a report to put it down so we will give the, the problems face, the, the possible solutions that will make next um, editions better. So thank you very much for the opportunity you gave me and all the children who have played. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm called your Fasi. I'm called your Fasi. I took part in volleyball. It was actually tough, but I did my best and it was really great. Especially during the finals when it was actually tough. They almost won us, but we put in more effort and we were not discouraged. We were determined. That is why we won. I'm so grateful. Okay. You have been the backbone of the organization of this tournament till. This finals, which marks the end of Project One Shoe 2021. So, what can you say about the tournament? Were yes. your expectations met? Yes, thank you. I want to start by thanking the sponsors. For they did a marvelous job. It was it's not easy. The amount of money they cough out shows that they have the school at heart. I thank them again. Again, our expectations were met. Even though we had some drawbacks, especially from the behavior of some school authorities and their players, yes, it did not. It was not what we expected. But of course, we draw inspirations from mistakes. We hope that the next edition will be better. Again, we did not have some rules at the beginning. Yes. So we hope that as the tournament next year comes, we'll be able to have some rules at the beginning that will make them known to the participating teams such that at the end we should not be found wanting or we can't want on, in order to discipline a player the rules are not there yes again i want to say thank you to the sponsors thank yes. you so much it has been a hectic tournament but we thank god that everything okay. is true thank you i i know you people lost at the finals but we realize your school, BHS Boya, took most of the trophies, first prize, except for football. So what can you really say? Uh, well, we are so grateful for such, such an entertainment. And then, came up with the idea of this kind of entertainment that brings people together from different schools and different places to come together in Well, we lost the game today. 
We had to shoot our guys. Now we're standing. We are still happy. Now, but what what is what can you say was the cause of you losing to IVTC? I can't say anything more. It's football. One person must win. One person must win. Okay. Another thing, from information we got, we 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 we, we heard that your your team was not uh, actually the, the the team A that started the tournament. And that's one of the reasons why people had some 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 setbacks in this finals. So how can you justify that? No, that doesn't matter. It's football is in the pitch. Doesn't matter. Football is in the pitch. No matter team A or team B, football is in the pitch. Okay. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. 